Hey guys, it's Jessie C. Today we are going to see how this turns into this. And now that we're using the limo studio lights, I'm going to be talking about it just a little bit more. Let's get started. One of my favorite parts actually is just doing the line art or sketching. So I really love looking at other people's sketches and how they line things. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to show you this part here where you can see how fast or slow I am. <laughs> and then the rest I just speed it up because if everything were in real time then it would just be too boring. So yay, speed up! I did cut out some parts too because then the video would be too long. So again, you might see some time cuts here and there, but that's because I don't want to bore you guys. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I originally did this on my iPad in my Procreate app and then I printed that on a regular piece of paper and traced that onto this paper. But regardless if it's the original sketch or not, I just take artistic liberties and change stuff here and there. So let's talk a little bit about the lighting. So far the lights are working very very well. You cannot change the temperature but that's okay. That's what I have to ring light for. My only complaint is that I wanted to come with longer cables because I had to plug it in here in the wall because when I had it plugged in the extension cord it would kind of tip over at least the light on the left. So that would be my only thing. Just longer cables. Otherwise this is my setup for the time being. I watch Sims while I draw. If you didn't know, rooms in Japan come with very limited outlets. I don't understand it! Please give me more outlets. Anyway, let's get back to the drawing. For this one, I'm using my Copic Multiliners Sepia 0.1 and 0.03 in only that color. And I also do my line art really, really slowly because I just want to be super careful, but I still screw things up and when I screw something up, I feel like I need to fix it by doing more, which is not the best way to fix things, but I know I need to work on it. So speaking of doing a lot of things, this piece was actually super detailed. I really tried to make the camera look realistic, but in the end, I ended up erasing some areas like that little circle that I'm next to right now and then another little circle towards the bottom because I felt there was too much going on and I felt like it would be a bit too difficult or just too tiny to add the water with the watercolor. So just got rid of it. And the size of this paper is actually really small. It's maybe two of my hands put together and I mean I have giant hands but <laughs> it's a pretty small paper. <laughs> so imagine all these little lines and then having to add the watercolor in all those little tiny places. So yeah, there was just too much going on. Even this here, I simplified it to what the camera actually looks like. Taking those artistic liberties and just you know, doing my stuff. Also, I changed the original name of the camera to my name, which is Jessica. It's not spelled this way, but I only have space for one S. So I just had a made do. Yeah. And then this one, Kame, are the first two letters of my last names, plural. And inside the little camera lenses, you might see some different details there too. To the original camera here I did the sign for female and then I put the number for my age because now I'm officially dating myself on the internet no I'm not old I just know a lot of stuff like the Rugrats hey Arnold PB and J Otter the wild thornberries cassettes DVD players and CD players <laughs> Walkman Nintendo color when computers used to have dial-up and you couldn't use the phone at the same time that feeling when you hang up the phone when you're really really angry and it goes click but now you just take the phone away from your face and touch a little button with your finger boop done 
Anyway, I'm digressing. Here's the finished line art. Now let's try to color it. And I'm really sorry that I didn't film this part because I was stupid and I didn't check my phone. Sometimes it looks like I'm recording, but it's actually not. The reason for that is my phone is too full and it's just not recording. It just stops. So I apologize for that. I didn't do much like I said. So here you see my process for the flowers. I am not an expert watercolor. This is actually my first time using watercolor that's colored. <laughs> I mean, I use black for Inktober, but this one actually is different colors other than black. You know what I mean. Again, I'm not an expert. I tried. Sometimes I put too much water. Here, I think I put too much color towards the bottom of the petals. I should have looked at my references more, but... I didn't. And then I think I might have made them too purpley or too purple pinkish. Later on, I add some blue, but I wish I had stopped. I made them too dark. But in the end, I like how they look, so. I think I just need a little bit more control of how much water or how much color I use in that area. Sometimes I realized I use too much color for the petals, so something to work on. As for where I put the shadows, I chose the light to come from the top or top right. I don't know if I executed that very well, so you know what, let me know in the comments below. Did I do my shadowing well? Did I stick to where I said I was going to put the shadows? I can only be my own worst critic, right? So why not ask you to be my critic too? <laughs> I just don't want this to turn into one of those videos where I look back at my own art or project and say, oh, I could have fixed this, I could have fixed that, I could fix this, I could fix this. No, I, I don't want it to turn into that. So I'm just going to let you guys tell me if you like it or not. And I'm going to stop telling you which areas I feel that I could have, you know, improved on. So no more of that. Ask yourself, why are you drawing a camera? Why did you choose to do a camera with flowers poking out of it? In my previous video, I reviewed the Limo Studio 2 point lights and I was originally going to test them out in the same video by making a drawing that had to do with technology or just something with lights or camera or, you know, tech. But I didn't want to put too much content into one video so they became two separate videos. And that's the reason why I'm drawing a camera in the first place. It was also to tie it with the whole lights video. As for the flowers, well, I just want to practice drawing more objects and plants because sometimes I feel really overwhelmed when I'm drawing cute girls. I feel like I have to add more to the piece, but I haven't really practiced objects, so this was really good timing to start doing that. So I looked at a bunch of pictures of cameras on Pinterest and you know, when you start using Pinterest, it's kind of hard to stop and put your phone down. So it became this journey into a never ending hole of cameras. And at some point I saw these neat Yashica cameras and other vintage type cameras. But when I saw this one, I thought it looked really cool. Like it looks like a vintage camera or maybe, okay, not vintage, but maybe something from like the seventies or eighties. I don't know. I'm not a camera person but it looks like something from that time but the specs look like they were just made yesterday so it was like a blend of old and new together and I'm like yay I like this I feel happy I wanna draw this and that's why we're drawing a camera with flowers poking out of it because I need practice and it was a nice camera I wasn't going to critique myself anymore, but I do feel the need to point this out. When I was putting the first layer of the gray color for the camera, I think I put too much watercolor towards the middle and it didn't look like one big watercolor piece. It kind of looked a little bit darker in that area and it wasn't really matching. So that's why you see me making it a little bit darker than I was originally thinking of. 
it kind of worked in my favor, I think. It doesn't look like random dark pieces and then random light pieces. It looks like, hey, this is the lens. Hey, this is the bottom part of this piece of the camera. Hey, over here there's some space. So, I think it worked out in the end. Also, I'm not going to put a background to this, I just wanted it to be a solid object with the flowers and that's it. Just a simple white background and then I want to frame this with a white frame. So it's just a simple piece that you can decorate your living room or your bedroom or your office with. Something that looks nice to decorate your space. Well, that's all I have to say for now, and I will see you in a little bit. Although the paper that I was using to make this, I don't think was watercolor paper because it's so crinkly like this. So I'm going to try to get watercolor paper. Anyway, thank you for coming to my video and watching all the way until the end. If you liked what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also go to my Instagram, which is in English, or you can go to my Twitter, which is in Japanese, or you can go to my Redbubble and buy some stickers. Anyway, have a nice day.